Cowboy Way peeps, welcome to 2022. We've made it. We are starting our first day of the year off with this open prep block. Uh, the open is starting on February 24th, that Thursday, and it's gonna be three weeks long. Uh, this next block will take us all the way to the end of the open, so it'll be a 10 week block uh, with open prep. Some of the things we're gonna be focused on. Basically, we're gonna be gearing up for the open, which means that some things are gonna kinda of get put on pause for a little bit, uh, and we're gonna really focus hard on getting you guys as prepared as possible for what we typically see in the open. Now, that being said, we never know what the fuck's going on in old Dave Castro's head, so he might throw something completely off the wall at us, but we'll use all the information we have from the past years and get as good of a plan as possible going forward. Um, so one of the things that we're gonna be doing, this is just an example and it's in this shitty green marker. I didn't realize I had such a bad green marker, but here it is. Um, we're gonna be doing lots of lifting under fatigue, heavy lifting under fatigue. So most, in the, most of the time in the opens, there is typically a workout where it has like ascending weights where you get a really heavy Olympic lifts under an extreme amount of fatigue, or you'll do a part A Metcon and then have a heavy or a max lift after the fact of that. Um, we're good, Chuck. Thanks. Uh, so this is just an example. We'll do more of these, uh, but this is one example. This one's this one we have coming up next week on Monday. Uh, it's called Boom Boom. You're doing every four minutes for four sets. You're doing a 20 and 15 cal row, and then you're doing, I have three different versions. You're either doing six, 11, or 15 uh, dumbbell thrusters with 50s and 35s. So depending on your kind of ability there, the number changes. And then once you get through that buy-in, you have the remaining time to accumulate three snatches for max weight. So this is gonna really force you, like you can't fuck around here, you're gonna have to go fast and accumulate a lot of fatigue in the legs and heart rate overall uh, during the row and the thruster. And then we're gonna have to snatch really heavy. So this is gonna be a great kind of example to get us ready to be able to lift heavy loads under fatigue. Uh, we will also, bringing this up this way, be doing at least one open retest per week. Um, and I might just keep it right at one per week, uh, simply because then we can throw in so many different things and the open retests are really stressful mentally and physical. So um, might keep that at one. Some weeks we may sneak in too, but you better believe that we'll be seeing some of these that have those two-parter, uh, like the 15 one and one A. We've done that recently in the last vlog. Um, or some of the long chippers that have the heavy lifting in there, like the 17.3 and so on. So we'll be seeing more of these coming in there. Also, high volume deadlifting. This is something that catches people by surprise every year somehow, is he'll throw out a workout that has a shit pot of deadlifts and people are just trashed from it. So this is something that I really want to make sure that we are all really prepared for and really get our volume tolerance pretty high with that. So definitely expect to see lots of high volume deadlifting in Metcons. Uh, I know next week we have one um, that has some high volume heavy deadlifts in there and we'll be doing more and more of that. Uh, when you guys are doing these, just pay very close attention that you're keeping solid bracing. The biggest thing I want you to do is get your pressure in your belly uh, and really brace before each rep. Just don't get lazy, even when it's like light and we're doing a shitload of them. Just pay attention on those and make sure we're not tweaking shit just because you're being lazy, all right? Um, maintaining your strength in the squat and deadlift. So we're not gonna go through a, like a, a squat progression per se, uh, or a deadlift progression in this block. We're gonna be maintaining our strength. So we're squatting heavy twice next week. We're doing a heavy overhead squat, um, and then we're doing a heavy set of three front squats. So we're definitely still gonna be doing it. It's just not gonna be on a planned progression with the goal being let's PR your one rep or your three rep later. Um, we're just gonna get exposure to these uh, throughout the week and make sure that we keep up on that. With the deadlifts, a lot of that is gonna come from here. Um, we will have some occasional really you know, heavy conventional deadlifts, but a lot of deadlifts will be in more Metcon or high volume type settings for sure. Uh, we will be adding in additional gear three Metcon. So an example of that um, next week, I know you guys have one that's an EMOM 20 alternating of a 20 and 15 cal row and a 16 and 11 cal echo bike. So 
that's gear three. Remember that gear three, all that means is that you're not limited by anything other than your overall fatigue level. So um, anything that you're not limited. So like if, if we threw a barbell in here, it'd be a very light barbell that you have no excuse to put down. You just have to rip through it. But lots of gear three stuff, we tend to see that in the open a lot, is when you guys are just having to move a very fast cycle rate for a long duration of time and maintain that pace. We can see in lots of this, and it's just a, an example. Um, classic CrossFit movements, this is a big deal. In CrossFit, in the open, um, we have never seen it without wall balls um, or burpees or thrusters and or double unders and that's going to stay true in our training here we're going to have lots of exposure to these classic crossfit movements they'll kind of be put in all over the map but just know that we're going to be getting lots of practice with these classic crossfit movements uh the next thing that we're going to be doing and also same thing these gymnastics a lot of these are gymnastic movements but we're going to be doing some super focused work of gymnastics under fatigue so here's an example of it we have i believe this one's next week as well five rounds of a 20 and 15 cal bike and then a 60 foot handstand walk and obviously there's tons of notes on how you should uh adjust that for yourself and all that jazz but um stuff like that and you know it's, let's just say or maybe you do like an amrap 20 of a 400 meter run and two legless rope climbs or uh, that's not necessarily an open that's just off the top of my head but or let's just say 10 bar muscle ups, some shit like that, where we're gonna be practicing some high skill gymnastics with your fatigue really high. Uh, so that's the pretty much the gist of it. We're gonna be focusing on the classic CrossFit movements, doing lots of heavy lifting under fatigue, getting our volume tolerance up, and maintaining our strength in our, in our main big lifts. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, hit me up on Train Heroic or shoot me a text. Other than that, look forward to seeing you guys in the app.